What's up, Guavarinos? Welcome to New Toy Tuesday, now on Wednesdays. Um, I recently picked up this device for the second time, because I owned this before, a few years ago. This is the Video to Digital Converter 2.0, made by ClearClick, who makes a number of different capture devices for video, both HDMI and analog along with some other stuff like audio capture devices and you know other didgeridoos and whatnots anyways so I used to own this and I picked it up a few years back for the same reason that anybody else would pick it up which is to convert old tapes and uh, when I had it I thought it was uh it was fine I uh, didn't have any complaints with it back then but then eventually I moved on to something more robust I use the HDMI capture device along with a, a video scaler made by Geffen and then I think I had a Sony VCR slash DVD recorder that output HDMI so I would just capture the HDMI output and then eventually I picked up a firewire device uh, made by cannabis um, which is my preferred method of digitizing analog video now uh, be it VHS or Laserdisc However, those devices, while probably the best way of capturing analog video, um, use a standard FireWire, which is obsolete to this day. And getting FireWire devices working on modern PCs could be somewhat you know, cumbersome and a pain in the ass. It requires the use of multiple adapters, searching out weird drivers, uh, maybe not even compatible with the latest version of Windows. If you're using Linux, you're kind of fucked. Mac, never heard of it. But I uh, went ahead and picked another one of these up, even though I had gotten rid of my initial one, because I own a lot of vintage cameras, vintage camcorders. And um, some of them are fully functional, uh, like this one that you're currently watching is a uh, Video A camcorder from 1998. I've had it since 1999 still fully functional uh, but uh, I'm bypassing the tape mechanism and I'm capturing uh, the video output going over composite so I own several camcorders and uh, like I said some of them work some of them don't so some of them the tape mechanism is just foobard and I still want to whip them out and play with them hashtag that's what she said so this will come in handy because it is a standalone device it is a headless unit so you don't need a PC to use it you don't need a external display as you can see there's a roughly three inch maybe four inch display on it and it records right to USB as you can see you got the USB stick hanging out the side of it um, and or you could also use an SD card there's a SD card port heading behind this sticker so something like this comes in handy if you want to play with old cameras because they don't take up a lot of room it's micro USB powered so it doesn't have a built-in battery although the latest version of this version 3.0 this is 2.0 does have a built-in battery and a larger screen however those just came out over the last few months and they're around 170 to 180 dollars I picked this up used off eBay for 50 bucks shipped so this was considerably cheaper and if I have to sort of jerry-rig a USB power bank and Velcro everything together, um, that's okay by me if I'm going to pocket the extra $120. So this thing works just fine. Uh, I don't have any complaints with the understanding that, you know, this is a standalone device. Now, when I had it, I moved on, like I said, to other greener pastures because I wanted the best possible capture um, I don't think everybody's quite as anal about about quality as I am but I am so if you have let's say home movies you know your Nana's uh, 97th birthday party uh, your christening uh, that one time that uh, you uh, lost your virginity to a Mexican hooker that type of stuff that you want to preserve you know those are one-offs so uh, if uh, if you have the means I would definitely recommend throwing some money at the problem and and, and going with something more robust that's going to give you better quality 
However, if you're, if you're trying to digitize, you know, your studio VHS collection, your ETs and whatnot, your fern gullies, I don't see any problem with using something like this. Um, like I said, it works pretty well. It has composite video input, S video input, HDMI output. If you want to hook it up to your TV uh, for playing back what you've recorded or monitoring uh, your, you know, what you're currently recording, then this will definitely come in handy. Um, they're like 140, 150 bucks new, but you can commonly find them on eBay for 50 bucks if you're patient. Um, so definitely pick one of these up if you need to either a digitize common tapes like i said definitely not for your archival tapes that you only have one of your family videos for that i would definitely spend some money and do something better or if you're like me a weirdo who likes to use old camcorders and uh they're semi-functional and you know you want to be able to use some camera from the 80s a tube camera because it has cool aesthetics and there's light traces because they use old tubes instead of solid state electronics then something like this is definitely passable and would be um not impossible to jerry-rig it into a portable setup with a lot of velcro and duct tape all right guavacadians that's everything i will let you guys go back to doing whatever the hell you were doing before i interrupted have a good one